Greetings everybody, welcome to another episode of Dabbling with Dan. Uh, today I'm going to go ahead and show you how to clean out a carburetor. Uh, this is my snowmobile and this one has three carburetors. And um, of course I took out the air box just so that this video could go a little bit faster. So you have to remove these and this is the uh, choke. This is a 12 mil millimeter and now I'm going to remove this uh, clamp here with a pair of pliers. And then I'll just grab this hose and pull it on off. Okay, once that's done, then I gotta get a Phillips and loosen that. Just happen to have one of those. Once that's loose, then the carburetor will come right out. And what kind of brand is that? Mikunai? So, put this on my workbench here. And let me put my camera on my tripod. Okay, so this snowmobile is probably about 20 years old. A lot, of, a lot of things have fuel injectors now, but these carburetors are pretty bad. If you don't put fuel stabilizer or run the, uh, these, shut the fuel off to it, then run the motor and pull all the gas out, you'll get what's called varnish in there, old gas. And it's uh, approaching winter, so I just want to make sure that these carburetors are, are ready to go. Uh, I will tell you what this tube is. This is a collection tube for any junk that might get into the bowl. It'll just gravity to the bottom, and then every so often you should probably open this up and then let that drain out. Okay, so the carburetor's out, and... Uh, on the bottom side here, you basically have four Phillips screws, which I'm going to go ahead and loosen all four of them before I take this bottom of the bowl out. I put this little white cloth so that maybe some of these things will stand out a little bit better. So as we are loosening, I'm wearing uh, chemical impervious uh, latex gloves that I got at a local auto parts store because I'll be dealing with gas and I don't want to get that on my skin. And of course, I'm wearing... Uh, safety glasses just in case anything splashes all right okay those are out and I'm going to gently remove the bowl this is interesting you could kind of see some uh, old fuel in there and it does have a smell of what I would call varnish and then as I look in the bottom of the bowl it doesn't look pretty bit it doesn't look bad so what I'm going to check to make sure these floats move up and down easily um, I'm also going to go ahead and give it a shot of carb cleaner so that, see if they, those things move pretty easily and they do um, one of the things that could go wrong with these is if they get a hole in them uh, they won't float and Part of this fuel system is these have to float up 
and right now they look in pretty good shape. The bottom of the bowl looks good. We'll set that off to the side. Now, As, I'm, as I look at it this way, I'm making sure my gasket's in good order. Again, I'm not rebuilding this carburetor. I'm just making sure it's good and cleaned out. So the first step I'm going to do is remove the jet. Now, I just got this little Phillips. I'm going to tap on this pin. And as you can see... When I pull that pin, I'm just going to set it down there, and then I'm going to slowly remove this and place it kind of in the same orientation. Now, right here is the jet. There you go. Things having a hard time focusing. What I'm making sure is looking at the tip to make sure it's nice uh, and smooth. There's also a little spring mechanism right here. And I'm making sure that spring mechanism works, and it does, so that's good. Okay, now, you have all these ports, and what I'm concerned about is, like, over the uh, summer, that gas was in there, and it's clogging the ability for fuel to flow through these. So I'm going to take some of them apart. Now, the first one is this one. pretty easy to remove and it's got a washer and I think you can probably see the hole clearly all the way through so that's free and clear but I'm gonna just give it a shot of carb cleaner make sure it's good and clean and then I want to make sure that hole through there is, is free and clear and it is so I'll just give it a shot of carb cleaner and then I will replace the washer and this and then tighten down. I don't want to over torque any of this. Oh, there we go. Now, the next thing I want to remove is what where the jet was in and i'll tell you what this was a six millimeter and this size is a 10 millimeter all right okay so this part it's kind of hard to see, but there's a, a, a fuel port that goes off to the one side. And if I shoot, you'll see where the, it's coming. This is where your fuel comes into the carburetor. And that path is showing good and clear. All right. Now, I just want to make sure um, this hole, you kind of can see all the way through, and that looks good and clean. And I'm going to give this a shot, a carb cleaner, and then I'm going to replace. Again, with my 10 millimeter socket, I'm going to go ahead and tighten this down. Okay. Now, the third thing I want to clean out and point to it way down there, you could see. Uh, well, you may not be out on this video, but there's a, a regular head screw in there 
the fuel goes through. I'm just going to take this screwdriver and back that out for y'all. Okay. And if you look at this, it has uh, little holes where the fuel passes through. And I want to make sure those are good and clean. Okay. And before I put it back, I can see all the way through. But if I put that there, you'll just kind of see where that fuel sprays through and that's free and clear so I'm gonna go ahead and re insert and tighten okay now this tube right here it has little holes through here and it comes up through and this is where the the choking mechanism goes in so I'm going to inject some carb cleaner through it make sure that's good and clean and let's see if we can okay I see a little fuel coming out and I see it coming up that top so I know that my choke is clear I have another port here I'm just shooting this cleaner all through these holes just to make sure all this is nice and clean. Okay. So once I've determined uh, I don't have any uh, varnish, which is uh, just really old gas that kind of dries out and becomes really sticky and will build up and prohibit the free flow of fuel. Um, I'll say that all this is good and clean, and now it's time to go ahead and reassemble. Let me make sure you can see that. All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and reinsert the jet. Boom. Go ahead and put this flat back in. These are very delicate parts. You don't want to force anything here. I'll make sure my pin goes all the way in and just give it some gentle taps. Okay. So that looks good. Of course, this is in the proper position. I'm going to go ahead and reinsert the bowl. And this is um, where this gets inserted into. Put it down very gently. And put these screws back in. All these four screws have um, compression washers. Again, this is all aluminum, and I really don't want to over torque um, these screws. Just get them good and snug, and then I'll go back through and tighten them up. So, this carburetor, um, again, wasn't very dirty uh, because last year I put fuel stabilizer in it and I ran it for about an hour and then the last thing I did was I shut the fuel flow off to the carburetors let the engine run until all the fuel came out because I didn't do that a few years ago and it was very messy.